So in today's video I will show you some mistakes beginners are making and then the correct way to color grade iPhone footage. So now we're in DaVinci Resolve and as you can see I've got some clips in here and not all of these clips are shot the same. Some of them are with the HDR feature turned on and what most beginners would do is just pull it in here and then we would start color grading like because it looks a little bit desaturated. We just pull up the saturation a bit. Maybe just like this increase the contrast of the curves. I don't actually think most beginners would use the curse, but I, I do it for an example. Then they would go maybe in here, that's actually what I did a few years ago. Use the lift game and gain wheels. So this is what some beginners would do, or this is what I would do a few years ago, because I wasn't that experienced. But the first mistake is, because it's 10-bit HDR footage, it has to be converted first, so we want to do that first. So first I want to remove everything because we want to pull in all the clips and then maybe not the timeline that's not working. So we pull in all the clips and they are different clips but there is something but there's a feature that helps us with that. So they're all different clips some of them are HDR some of them are not. So we go into the project settings down here to color management and then we go to the DaVinci YRGB color manage and then I turn off automatic color management. If you're just starting to color grade, you can turn this feature on and then you just switch it to color managed and then you're fine. Then you can start color grading. But if you're a bit more experienced, you just turn it off and then you can turn on HDR, DaVinci White Gamut Intermediate. Output color space should always be Rec. 709 Gamma 2.4. And then we can press save. And now we're working in a very big color space and it's better for color grading. This is some of my vlog footage, by the way. So. I want to remove the sound because I don't need that. And now we can start color grading because the HDR footage is already converted. It's just a little bit bright, so we might want to correct that. So we start with the first clip and this is not HDR, I know that. This is just normal 4K60 footage, so we can just color grade it. So for example, I want the greens a bit more green, the blue, I want them to be more teal, a bit more contrast, I want the footage to pop, so that's what we're going to do. So for that I make about three notes. I think that's working for me. First one is gonna be hue. Second one is color separation. And the third one is gonna be S curve. And we start with the last one. And we want to have a contrast curve so that the footage pops a bit more. So I just pull down this point here. And make a point here and pull it up. Now we got more contrast. Maybe I want to lift the blacks a bit. So pull the black point up. I think that looks pretty good. And when we go through the video, yeah, that looks that looks pretty good. When we go before and after, that looks very good. So now we go back to this frame and then I want to go to the hue curves and then I just click here and hold it. And then I want to make the point a bit bigger. Hue rotation, move the points a bit. And then I want to adjust the hue. So now that's more green before and after. That looks pretty good in my opinion. Now it's a bit too saturated. So we go to the hue versus set curves. And again, hold and click, a uh, click and hold. And make it a bit bigger. And then I want to pull it down a bit because it's too saturated in my opinion. Now we want to do the same with the blue here. So I click and hold again and then maybe make it a bit bigger because I want to have more of the blue then can pull it up that looks pretty good we can also click the blue point here and then adjust the points a bit maybe and now we can pull down the saturation a bit or pull it up if you want to but in this case I want to pull them down so the reds pop a bit more they're very saturated so they even pop without the adjustments, but that's before, that's after, and that's making a big difference in my opinion. Even the sky looks extremely cool in my opinion, because before and after, now it's more teal and it's, it pops a bit more. Now we go to this node here, and this is color separation. So what you normally would do is make a point at the middle gray point, and you probably should do it. I don't recommend to not do it, but I want to make it quick, so I just make a point where I think the middle gray point is. So I think the middle gray point is about here. Then we unlink these, go to the blue channel, and pull up the blue. 
and we go to the green channel pull up the green now we have the tear in the shadows then we go to the red pull them up in the highlights a bit then to green and pull them also up but just a little bit in the highlights that looks pretty good in my opinion now we can go to these sliders here and then we can adjust the intensity of each channel but you have to be very careful because zero is not actually zero when you have zero it's an s for example with the red channel as if you would pull it down 50 is zero percent intensity and i think 70 looks about good then we pull down the green and the blue so now we graded a clip with 8-bit footage this is before and this is after and here again before and after and that looks pretty good in my opinion so now we jump over to a clip where the hdr feature is turned on this is one of them and as you can see it's pretty bright so i make about four notes in this case so the first note i call exposure adjustment this one is gonna be contrast or s curve you can call it whatever you want this one is also color separation and this one is gonna be hue adjustments or just hue and if your white balance would be off you also would make some notes with the white balance adjustments or some balance notes but in this case we don't need that because it looks pretty balanced and besides from that the white balance is changing in this clip because i didn't lock it and that's a huge problem with iphone footage in my opinion because when you work with the native app and you don't lock it it's changing throughout the whole clip so that's a big problem in my opinion first we make our exposure adjustments because as you can see it's extremely bright and and what works the best for me is to go to the and what works for me the best is to go to the custom curves and make a point here and then just pull it down until it looks good and i think this looks extremely good yeah that looks pretty good some people also use the offset wheel for this but i don't use it because you would also move the black point and that's not what i want i just want to pull down the exposure or adjust the exposure without increasing the contrast so i'm using the custom curves in this case but for contrast we go to our contrast node again and in this case i want to increase the contrast slider but just a little bit because it's already pretty contrasty so now we jump again to the hue adjustments and then we go to our hue versus hue and in this case i want to make some points here so i click on the colors down here make a point here because there are the skin tones and then i want to pull down the yellow point a bit so that we got stronger greens and then i seen yeah we got some blue here so i want to pull it up so that we got more teal instead of blue pull it down so it's not too much of a green before and after now for the color separation curve i want to go back to our first clip that we graded and then click on the color separation node and command c and we go back here click on the color separation node here and then with command v we copied and pasted it so we saved some time now i want to copy this grade so i go click on this clip here command c go to this clip and then command v and now we copied and pasted this node maybe pull back on the color separation node yeah that looks pretty good in my opinion so now we go to this clip and i make about three notes for this case and i also call them hue color separation and this one is gonna be contrast so a big mistake many beginners are also doing is to make two big adjustments so we increase the contrast and i think this is looking good but what i've seen many beginners doing is to increase the contrast even more so it the image breaks and this is 8-bit footage so you have to be have to be very careful because it breaks very easily and especially because it's iphone footage and it's pretty compressed so so the image starts to fall apart very quick so i just go with my old adjustments maybe even a little bit more then we go to our hue adjustment so now i want to make my greens pop a bit more so what i've also seen many beginners are doing is go to the qualifier and Many of you should know that this is a big mistake with iPhone footage because it's so compressed you can't work with the qualifier. So we try out how good it works and we click on the green and we just qualified all the image so it's not working properly because we have a lot of the image and we just want to have the green so it's not working. So what I can try now is to adjust the width of it and yeah, it's, it looks pretty ugly in my opinion because you can see all the blocks here and everything it's just starting to fall apart even when we blur it looks very ugly maybe go to the second page and denoise and now when we play it back you can see this jumping noise over here 
So we reset this one and I will show you a better option, which you should always use, even with 10-bit footage, in my opinion, because it works way better and it's way cleaner. We go to the hue versus hue curves again and click and hold on this. And maybe we can make this a bit more bigger. This side not too much. And then I just pull it down a bit and now we got more greens. Then make a point here, to just this one. And now we have stronger greens without the image falling apart, so that's pretty good. Now we click on the blue point and I just lift the blue bit, just a little bit, so that we get more teal in the sky. And this is what it looks like with the contrast, so we can maybe go back on the contrast a bit, because it's very contrasty. Now we can go back to our color separation node again, and for that I just want to go to maybe this clip. Click on this node, Command C, and then we go back here, click on this node and then Command-V, and now we copied and pasted it, so we save some time there. And in my opinion, this is too strong, so we go back to the curse, uncheck this, this is very important, and then go to the blue and the green and pull it back so it's not as strong, maybe even the red a bit, because, yeah, it makes a difference. So this is without the grade, and this is with the grade, so with this grade, the greens pop a bit more. You can also make the green tones a bit warmer if you want to. So in this case, I would just pull it up here. Maybe turn it on so we can see what we're doing. So yeah, you can also do this. But in my case, I want the greens to be very green. So I leave it like that. So thanks for watching and see you guys in the next video.